Hello to all my athletes out there in Coach Carr's PE class. Today we're going to be going over new skill. We're going to be going over soccer and foot coordination. So how to kick a soccer ball accurate and how to kick it for power as well as how to get it in the right spot you want to if you are going to be passing it to a person combining that power and accuracy. So let's see what that looks like. Now a lot of you probably don't have the materials you need for an actual soccer lesson. That includes myself. So let me show you what I'm using. As a soccer ball, I don't have a soccer ball, so I'm going to be using this volleyball. You can use anything that is okay for you to kick with your foot. Any kind of ball, any kind of thing. Use your imagination to uh, be creative with what you're using during this lesson. Now for my goal, all I, I don't have a goal available, so what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using these discs. I've been playing a lot of disc golf lately, so I have these readily available and I can use them as barriers to create a goal that I would kick through or kick at. Alright, so let's see how we're going to kick this ball. First things first, I see the ball out in front of me, so I got to make eye contact with the ball. I need to see where it is all time. If I pick my eyes up, I might miss or I might kick it poorly. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to keep my eye on the ball. Now I kick with my right foot. I write with my right hand and kick with my right foot. So what that means is my left foot, my opposite foot, is my stepping foot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to step with my stepping foot, my left foot, right next to the ball. You can, as you can see, my left foot is directly next to the ball. Next I'm going to swing my right leg through. But now the way we do this is very important because we need to contact with the inside of our foot. There's much more room on the inside of your foot to make contact with the ball. If I try with my toe or if I try with the top of my foot, it could be inaccurate. So I'm going to make contact with the inside of my foot. Now the last thing I want to talk about is the follow through. Because a lot of young soccer players, when they follow through, they're going to come across their body. That's not what you want. What you want is you, when you step, you contact with the inside of your foot, you want to follow through in the direction that you're kicking. So if I'm kicking towards the camera from back here, I'm going to follow through right at the camera. Check for the cues. I'm going to step, contact with the inside, follow through towards the camera. Just like that, perfectly straight. All right, so now let's see what this looks like with the target. Okay, so now as you can see, I've set my discs up so I've created a goal. The goal for me is to kick in between the two discs. So let's see if I do it on my first try. Remember the cues. Step next to the ball, contact inside of the foot, follow through straight. Right down the middle. Okay, so now the, be the beautiful thing about this is I can adjust the goal however I want. I can make it more narrow, I can make it further apart. Even I can move my body anywhere around the field to make it a more challenging kick for me. Now since that last one was a little easy for me, let's see how I changed it. I moved myself about 10 or 15 feet back, but I also adjusted the goals. So as you can see now, it's much closer together. So I'm going to try to do the same thing and try to make it right down the middle. Remember, I'm going to step opposite foot, contact inside a foot, and follow through straight. Ooh, okay, so as you can see, I hit the, I hit the post on that one. So normally that would be no good because it would bounce right off in soccer, but it was close. Now let's see a new variation of this game. So now what I would like you to practice after you work on those uh, shooting on the goal, now we're going to work on target practice. This is really good for practice when you're playing a game in soccer or anything that requires foot coordination. So for target practice, what I'm going to do now is as you can see, I have a water bottle on the ground right here. This is my target. I'm going to be moving all around the field. And my goal is to get it as close to the target as possible. It can knock the target over, that's fine. But the key to this, because we just worked on our accuracy, is we have to get the power right. So I don't want to kick it and have it go rolling way past the target because although it might have been accurate, it was not, it did not stop right next to the target. So let's see what this looks like from a distance. All right, way back here now, the target's right over there. I'm trying to get it as close as possible to the target. So I'm going to kick it nice and easily, uh, trying to get it to stop right next to the target. So 
I'm, I'm already going down my stepping foot, ready to go. I go in contact with him, set my foot, and follow, follow through right at the target. Let's see. Okay, a little weak, but pretty close. I'm gonna move to a new spot and we'll see what this looks like. All right, I, even, I have even more distance now between me and the water bottle. Go ahead and see where the water bottle is. It's pretty far. So I'm going to try to kick it a little bit harder this time and get it to finish right at the water bottle. Boom, that was pretty good right there. Now that you've seen the accuracy kicks with kicking at the goal and the power kicks kicking at the water bottle, I want to challenge you to spend at least five minutes working on both of those. You may be creative with this. I want you to practice from as far away as you like. Remember, the closer you are, the easier it's going to be. The further away you get, the more challenging it's going to be. You can use any kind of target. You can use any kind of goal. You can even kick with whatever you want, as long as it's safe to kick with. But I challenge you to do uh, at least five minutes power kicks and five minutes accuracy kicks. All right, great job. Super proud of all of you. Make sure that you take your time with this. Take it nice and slow, and then once you start to get the hang of it, then you can start to speed up or make it more challenging for yourself. So, great job today.